Welcome aspiring video game quitters. Trust me guys, I can help you with this. I was a former video game addict. Ninja was too. And look at him, he's doing fine. Oh, and um, don't mind the background. You don't want to be bored, do you? So here are the five steps to quitting your video game addiction. Step one, miss out on one thing. Now this is really a step for my FOMO gang. You know, if you're missing out, you guys know what that means. Um, I think the definition is pretty self-explanatory, but let me give you guys an example. Okay, so you're playing Fortnite and it's a new season and basically, the season ends in X amount of days. You're probably gonna wanna do everything in your power to reach level 100 and get that very cool skin. Oh my gosh, so flashy. And if anything gets in your way of this goal, then that's FOMA. That's FOMA for you. Yeah, so this is why I'm telling you guys, you just have to miss out on one thing. And it can start off with something really small. Like you guys use Twitch, right? Miss out on that Twitch drop. It will help ease you into missing out on things, I promise. We all have to come to the realization that nothing we earn in video games matter. Monetarily. I mean, why else would you want everything in the game? Bragging rights? Nobody cares. Well, anyways, let's go on to step two. And it's actually a pretty simple step. Get a life, slash job, slash hobby, like, are you working a day shift or are you gonna be playing God of War all day? Like, are you gonna play Fall Guys or are you gonna fall into a new hobby of coding? <laughs> hey, tweet. Come on, guys. Come on. That was good, right? Now, once these precious hours of your day are taken up by your hobbies, jobs, whatever, maybe a girlfriend, your addiction will magically fade away. I can't guarantee that. I don't know, hit the gym. What about a cook? I don't know, do something. Step three, lose all of your friends. Hey, my multiplayer friends. Now you know multiplayer games aren't fun without some very funny friends who don't say anything wrong. Just get into a huge argument about what you all are doing with your lives as adulthood slowly approaches. Or don't have friends to begin <laughs> with. Loser. Now, unless you're one of those weirdos who like playing with randoms, you'll be bored in all your multiplayer activities. You're welcome. Step four, get your account hacked slash banned. For PlayStation players, this is pretty easy. Okay, maybe some of you will make new accounts, but come on. The connection you have with your old account, you don't want to lose that. Or you never had one to begin with. Now you digital players will really be hurt by the account ban. Easy way to stop that addiction. Step five, break the platform of your choice. Whoever said playing rock couldn't be inspirational. Can't play video games without a video player. Unless you're addicted to board games. Let's just go to honorable mentions. Sleep, delete the game, die. Become poor. Get arrested. I don't know about you guys, but if I were a gaming addict, my addiction would be long gone after watching this video. But guys, don't rush yourself. Everything good comes everything good everything good comes with time. Every good things take time to come. And overcoming your gaming addiction are one of those things. Well, that's the video. Are you fighting an addiction? How's the battle going? Let me know in the comments. Peace out.